Hello, fellow Vikings. We at Park Yuma Valley School District are beyond excited to welcome back increased numbers of students on site at all of our schools. Our staff has been working diligently to prepare. This video will serve to share some of the updated procedures as well as provide you with a glimpse of what in-person school may look like for your student. As always, health and safety continues to be our top priority, and PV will continue to employ a multitude of strategies to mitigate the spread of the virus. All staff and students are expected to wear face coverings at all times, with the exception of when eating and during planned mask breaks. Acceptable face coverings include double layer cloth face masks and double layered gaiters. While on the bus, in addition to face coverings, students will also have assigned seats, two to a seat, and with a sibling is preferred. Buses will be capped at 44 to 48 students, depending on the size of the bus, and weather permitting, windows will be open one to two inches. In each of our schools, hand sanitizer is available throughout the building. Each classroom has been provided with cleaning wipes and high touch surfaces will continue to be wiped and bathrooms cleaned as frequently as possible. In the classroom, students will have their own space four to six feet from each other and from the teacher's desk. We have made every effort to space students six feet apart to the greatest extent possible, but there are some instructional spaces that are four to six feet apart. In many locations, we have also set up plastic partitions for small group instruction and to add an additional layer of protection. When eating, students will be six feet apart. We have several eating areas in our schools, including the cafeteria, the gymnasium, and in some cases, in the classroom. At the elementary level, students will be afforded time for recess outside. We have identified zones on our playgrounds where students will have opportunities to engage in a variety of activities within the parameters set to mitigate the spread of the virus. Again, we are looking forward to the upcoming weeks and welcoming increased numbers of students on site for instruction. We invite you to reach out to your child's school administrators or teachers with questions or to visit our website.